just wanted to show you that if you have a Windows 10 device, you already have annotating and a whiteboard built into your computer. And a lot of people don't know it's there because it's kind of hidden away. So I wanted to take a few seconds to show you where it is and what all it is capable of. Bottom right hand corner on the black bar, you'll see this pen. It looks like a little S squiggly behind it. Back with this. If you click on it, you can see that you have these different options. If you are not seeing that and you know you have a Windows 10 advice, if you just come down to this black bar and you right click with your mouse, the show Windows Ink Workspace button needs to be checked. Once you check that, then it should pop up at the bottom. So let's click on it. Here you have sticky notes. If you do that, you can add a sticky note. supposed to be in Disney right now but uh yay corona um to hide them you just click the white button and they pop up every single time you restart your computer they'll pop up so they're perfect little reminders you can get rid of them you can color code them you can do all kinds of things with those sticky notes the next thing on here is the sketch pad it's like a whiteboard and if you pull it up for the first time it's probably going to have a drawing or something already there no big deal just come over you click that garbage can and it'll go away you have the different pen tools up at the top. You can change the color, you can change the size, and then you can draw all over it. And if you have a touch device, you can use your finger. If you're having trouble with your finger, make sure this is highlighted up here. Um, the pencil and then the highlighter. Hit the garbage can, make it go away. Hit the save button and you can save it to your OneNote or uh, in your pictures. Lastly, they have screen sketch. I use this one all the time doing classes because I'm trying to show people what the icons are. So let's see, on course, you can circle it. That's kind of hard to see with my background, so I'm gonna to wanna to change that to a lighter color. Um, look, Skype, there you can color that. And it also works with any um, document that you have. Let's see, here's my Gatsby paper rubric. So if I wanted to explain to the kids, I want to talk about it, annotate on it while I'm telling them how to do a good job. It'll take a snapshot of what is on that screen. You can't scroll up or down, but you can write on it. Hey guys, like, this is not what you want, okay? You want this. Um, then you can save it, you can X out of it, then you can scroll down and do the second half if you wanted to but it's built in already there. It is super sweet, simple, and 